Hi everyone, I'm Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and welcome in for our soul coaching session. So we know uh, if you've been following along, we are now embarking on week 14, last week in water. This week starts today. You can start now, you can start from the beginning, go to my YouTube channel and check out all the other weeks. You can do them as days instead of weeks if you want, or you can just, you know, pick and choose from the ones that work for you. They're all beautiful, divine, ways in which to dive deep into self and do like light and shadow work type stuff. So like I said, it's week 14, doo -doo -doo, week 14 in water. <clears throat> but let's go right into the meditation. We always do our mini meditation first. Um, knowing that this week we're embarking on releasing victim thinking and choosing our life, which we do in every moment. So let's go into our mini meditation. So take them out, have your palms facing up. Good receptive energy. Spine is nice and straight. Close your eyes. Taking a nice deep cleansing breath, breathe fully and deeply in through the nose. Fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. Exhale, release. Allow the breath to descend back down to the bottom of your belly. Inhale, full and deep, breathing in light from 360 degrees into your heart center, your sacred heart into your whole body, allow it to expand and spread <clears throat> into your aura. And when you exhale, you're just simply releasing that out to the world. There's more than enough to go around for everyone. <clears throat> Inhale, love. Exhale it out to the world. As you breathe, allow your body to relax. Uncross your legs, relax the shoulders. Breathing deeply, find your center, what resonates with you as your center today. <clears throat> as you find your center, connect deeply with your light, always untouched by the outer world. As you breathe in, you are cleansed and refreshed, rejuvenated. As you exhale, relax. Each breath takes you deeper and deeper into relaxation. Feel the energy within and around your physical body slowing down and your spiritual body ascends to higher vibrations just by taking these quiet moments, these truthful moments to connect within. As you breathe, begin to see yourself on a beautiful white sandy beach it feels so good to sink your bare feet into the warm sand, soft and soothing. Gazing out, you see beautiful turquoise blue waters, shallow, beautiful like tropical island waters. The waves are gentle, the rift, Far in the distance, slows the waves down. You step into the water, feeling its cleansing, its warmth. Not too warm and not too cold. It is perfect for you. Deeper in the water, it's up to your knees, enjoying looking into the water, gazing out over the ocean. The deeper you go, you're swimming in the water. It's so buoyant, you can float easily. 
serene as you connect to water. Remembering that you are made up of mostly water. You are connected to all that is. Deeper into the water, you are soon greeted by two beautiful eyes of a dolphin. You see many other dolphins that are also reaching you. Gazing at the dolphin, you hear their thoughts, their wisdom, their sound frequencies, light codes, messages for you. As I am quiet for a few moments, enjoy the essence, the energy, and the messages from the dolphins. Perhaps you dive deep in the waters, knowing you can breathe underwater here, traveling with the dolphins, bringing in the essence, the pure essence of joy and freedom. As you swim with the dolphins, you begin to see the blue energy intermingled with the magenta pink energy connecting you to Star Sirius Oceana, where the dolphins love to swim free. The dolphins bring the essence and the energy of Atlantis in the ancient times, connecting you to freedom and joy and release, release your emotions, whatever you are feeling. You are allowed to feel, you are free to feel, you are free. You are free to experience your truth, to express yourself. You are free to create in your joy. Thanking the dolphins for their essence and energy and messages, knowing you can come back here anytime you need. The dolphins begin to not only swim away, they jump and play, and in their wake are rainbows of light. Feeling all filled up, cleansed, purified, and healed, Begin to allow your awareness to come back more fully in this reality, in your body. Opening your eyes when you're ready. I hope that was good for you. I love the dolphins. They just make me smile so much. So water, remember, drink it, lots of it. We're th going through the ascension process with the earth and you need to purge and release and water is gonna help you do that with more ease. So water, 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 more than you think you need. So we're all about releasing victim thinking in this week 14 in water. Um, so, and we're going to embrace change. Um, change doesn't take effort or struggle. It can happen in an instant. This reminds me of a story by Wayne Dyer. It can happen in an instant if you so choose, or you can take gentle steps to get you there. Uh, for Wayne, he was ready. Wayne Dyer was ready. He told, tells the story. Um, he used to be on PBS a lot. I think I saw it there, unless it was YouTube. But Wayne Dyer would um, used to be an alcoholic, and he would drink a lot. And he would um, always have at least two drinks the minute he sat down at any restaurant. Um, so this night, he goes to sleep. He it wants to release that pattern from him and he feels the essence of and I want to say Rose but it was some an Italian goddess type person he said and the essence and I forget the name but I'll just say it's like Mary Magdalene essence and Mother Mary essence and those kinds of energies and he said he could smell the scent of roses uh, and I, I want to say it was Saint someone if anyone remembers let me know Energy came in, he felt the warmth, he felt healed. He said, I know I can do this now. I don't need alcohol anymore. 
the next day they go to the restaurant with all their kids wife pregnant with twins they sit down um, actually this was the day before the wife was pregnant they sit down at the restaurant and before he had this connection and this healing he goes and he um, orders his two drinks uh, the the waiter um, said that they had lost their liquor license for a few days come back next week for that but um, he was so used to that habit of having those two drinks that uh, he made everyone get up, the kids, the pregnant wife, to go to a new restaurant. Felt so bad about it when he went to sleep. Then he had that healing I spoke about. Woke up the next day, told his wife he doesn't want um, to drink anymore. Um, the next meal they have, she places a drink in front of him, and he said, I told you I'm, I'm not drinking anymore, and she kind of laughed it off because she maybe she's heard this before. Um, but then he never did. And at that point of telling the story, it was 20 years. He chose, I don't want to do this anymore. So allow it to infuse you what you need. <clears throat> For me, like um, having an overeating issue in the past, emotional eating, right? Um, I had to wean off of certain things and not go completely cold turkey with certain things so that I could get my body back to excellent health. So everyone has their different process and for certain things it needs to be a cold turkey event. <laughs> anyway, so other changes that are more like in the essence and energy of us and our decision to be in a certain perspective about something and our decision to do something, etc. They don't have to take... Um, time and effort and struggle, like we've been told, it can be a shift in a moment. So your, your affirmation today is who I am is enough, just as I am. Accept you now and allow yourself to expand and open up to who you are becoming, which is the light person you're in, you, within you, who you are anyway. Um, so find another area in your home to clean for this week, right? Just something, wash windows, scrub floors, dust the shelves, wash the curtains. It can be small, it can be large, the area. So clean with intention. So when you're doing this, when you're scrubbing that floor, whatever you're doing, say, I am supported and my foundations are clear and strong. This affirmation is powerful and you start with the I am, because I am. Everything that follows I am, you're manifesting. So I am. Level one, two, and three, right? Committed to change, have more time, do level two, which is going for it, have the most time, level three, plan full out. So level one, we are asking ourselves noble questions with level one. Um, watch your thoughts, notice the number of questions, like I wonder if I have time to make the bus, should I tell that woman that she has spinach in her teeth, why does this always happen to me, etc. These kinds of questions are not empowering. We have to remember our thoughts <laughs> are powerful. So whenever you ask a question, the subconscious mind searches for an answer, just like a computer almost. So why do I always sabotage my relationships? Your brain, your subconscious will come up with an answer because it's gonna believe the premise of your question. It will say you have lousy relationships because that's all you deserve, right? It tries to find an answer even if it's not empowering. Instead, so these kinds of questions are called unworthy questions, right? Um, so today, whenever you find yourself thinking in an unworthy question, immediately replace it with worthy or noble questions. For example, if you find yourself thinking, why did this happen to me? Immediately replace it with a noble question. What value can I get out of this situation? Noble questions can be better than affirmations because they lead to action. How cool is that? Um, once we're in the action mode, we feel that we are in control. You can even uh, periodically create noble questions for yourself, such as, how can I experience even more joy and love in my life right now? That's a freaking awesome question to ask all the time. <laughs> how can I experience more joy in my life right now? This is want your soul and your spirit and every being, every particle in your being wants to find that answer. So. Um, create one inspiring noble question and repeat it over and over again for yourself. I, I choose that one for me. Um, how about I, how can I love and appreciate myself right now even more? How can I make a positive difference in the lives I love? How can I radiate even greater health? So those are some really cool ones to do. Um, if you have more time, release victim thinking. We are not victims of our circumstances. 
Um, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent, Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes. Do you sometimes blame others for the difficulties in your life or feel misunderstood, resentful, bitter, taken for granted, or unappreciated? We're all human. We've been there. If you answer yes to any of these questions, then you're allowing yourself to be the victim of the circumstance. There's no judgment. We're all human and we've been there. So now it's time to be aware of it. As you're aware of what it is, you, you shine light on it. You take its power away. We did this thing um, where you, you name your fear. You tame it. You must see it and then it will be tamed. Um, the truth is, the truth is that you're never truly a victim unless you allow yourself to be that way. You always have the chance and the choice to step beyond feeling victimized. Imagine a situation where you feel or have felt badly and unfairly treated and ask yourself these questions. Notice what emotion comes up um, and answer the questions in your process journal. If there was something that I was gaining from this situation, what might it be? Why am I allowing this person or situation to victimize me? How can I change my perception of this event so that I don't feel victimized? I have choices. Do I need to stand up for this person? Do I need to walk away? Or stand up to this person or walk away? Do I need to change the context in which I view the situation? That's level two. Awesome stuff right there. Powerful transformations will occur as you go through these exercises. You're doing that shadow work and you're extracting it from your being, transmuting it into pure light. Level three, if you have more time, choose your life. And this it is an act of power to consciously choose your life. Not parts of it, the parts you like or feel that you created, but to choose all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> Eat every bump, every dark night of the soul, every lie, falsehood, or fear, everything. You step into self-mastery when you own your life. Owning your life allows yourself to be yourself, you to be here now. To be fully connected with your soul, it's valuable to accept all that has occurred in your past. This helps you to stop living in the past so you can be fully present here and now. Like even this morning, here's a really minor example. I um, was realizing I was in this fast, 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 go, 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 do, do, do. I have to get this done, that done, that done. Oh, that's interrupting me and that's happening and this message and that thing's happening. And I was just trying to handle it all and going all the, all the places. And you can easily get into victim mode and be like, why me? It's too busy. But then I was just like, whoa, I'm choosing this busyness right now and I'm continuing it and it keeps coming more, keeps coming because I'm in it and the energy we are in the moment and now creates the next moment. So then I just said, I need to stop. <laughs> Take a breath. It will happen in a moment or two. It doesn't have to happen everything in all this now moment, this very second. So it's just like breathe. Everything slowed down everything in my reality all the fast things that needed to happen now we're able to like take a moment so take that as a possible example so you step into self-mastery when you own your life owning your life allows you to be here now so tell the truth to yourself this is gonna the challenge one it is for me tell the truth to yourself about your past without suppression or denial because when you do that, you create, when you suppress or deny, you create more shadow work to deal with later and it becomes bigger and it's the scream instead of the whisper. So instead, see it so you're not repressing it. See it for what it is. Shine the light on it, name it and tame it, right? Um, own your past, acknowledge what, uh, what is so about yourself and your life without judgment, criticism, comparison, or hesitation. Every experience in your past has an essential part has been an essential part of your spiritual journey. Everything, everything you did, everything that was done to you, everything is a mirror to you. And then you're able to like reflect and say, nope. Um, and hopefully doing last week's exercise still, which is I love you saying, I love you to yourself in the mirror. I love you, right? So you say that to yourself, it's powerful. Some people, as we said last week, right? you can start with, I am willing to entertain saying I love you to you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you get to the I love you. Love the reflection in the mirror. Love you within. And then you start to emote that to people and that ripples out that energy and you attract more of that to you as well. Those people that will love you for you too. Um, this last exercise, write out something of pivotal events in your life. Go, 
you can go to your week one and water two. After each one, say to yourself, I choose this experience and I unconditionally accept this event in my life. And you keep saying that to yourself until you unconditionally accept it for real. Even inside yourself, you are kicking and screaming and saying you don't, even if inside you're kicking and screaming and you didn't choose that experience and you really were the innocent victim, know that just doing this exercise can have a powerful effect and it can help you step out of the victim mode and into your mastery as a spiritual being. So yeah, let's do more of that. So hopefully the meditation was amazing for you guys. I hope you have fun with these exercises. Do what you can. Don't pressure yourself. Go to my YouTube if you want to see them all in, in, in a row because um, we have 14 weeks now. I'm going to upload this one today and then just keep watching. Um, so hopefully I'll be seeing you guys soon here or on my Patreon channel. Blessed be.